Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Slider Revolution plugin to create a slider for your WordPress website. There are hundreds of templates that you can use to create the slider using the Slider Revolution plugin. Let me show you some examples of the templates that you can use. This is another example. And I'll show you how you can create the slider manually from the scratch. So we will see how we can add different slide, how to use animation, how to add different layers on the slide. So we will create a slider from the scratch. Let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the website Slider Revolution. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. This is not a free plugin. This is a paid plugin. And this is the pricing of this plugin. It shows 2,965 rupees in Indian rupees. So it is approximately 35 US dollars. And in this, you will get 250 plus pre-designed templates, 25 plus add-ons, object library, instant updates, and ticket support. This is for the single website use. Here you will see different templates that you can use. Hundreds of templates are available here. So let's see how we can use the Slider Revolution plugin and how we can create the slider from the scratch. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I already have installed the Slider Revolution plugin on this website. So in the left-hand panel, you will see the option Slider Revolution. Click on it. It will go to the dashboard of this Slider Revolution. If you need any help, you can always go to Getting Started and you will see the documentation of this plugin. So we are on the dashboard of the Slider Revolution. At the top, you will see Updates, Activation. If you have not activated, you can go to Activation and here you can enter your license key and register your product. So let's go back. Here you will see four different options, New Blank Module, New Module from Template, manual import and add-ons if i go to add-ons you will see all these add-ons are available so it depends on your requirement which add-on to install if you want to install add-on you can simply click on it and from here click on install add-on close it now if you already have any design or the template downloaded for slider revolution you can import it from here you can click on import and choose the file and get it imported here you will see new module from template. So these are the templates that you can use. Here you will see more than 200 templates are available. If you want to see how does this look, you can simply click on preview and it will show you how the template looks. You can import these templates and you can customize them. You can change the name or the content on this template. You can change the image or the background image and you can add your own images there. Let's see other one. Click on this one and this is how it will look. Let's try any e-commerce. This is, I guess, any e-commerce e product. So this is how it will look. It is a slider of the e-commerce products. Let's close this one. Now we will start from new blank module. So click on new blank module and we will create a slider from the scratch. So when you click on it, it will go through a guide, a setup guide, it will help you how to use it. So I'm going to quit the guide, just close this one. Now we are on the first slide, at the top you will see back option slide, you will see we are on the first slide and you will see add layers. On this slide you can add different types of layers such as text, image, button, shape, a video, audio, icons, row, group. So you can add rows also. So this is actually the background of this first slide. You will see it is transparent background. Here you will see the size of the desktop for the desktop. Here you will see single select, undo, redo. And this is for the desktop, tablet, mobile. This is the basic settings, navigation options. This is the background image and this is for the editor view, layer options. 
if I go to settings, these are the module general options. This is the name of your slider. Right now it shows slider one. So I can change it to let's say main slider. And this is the LIS. So I'm going to change it to main slider. So this will be the LIS of your slider. You will see it here. This is the shortcut that you're going to use on the page so that it will be shown on the page. Okay, so let's click on save. We have changed the name and the LIS. Now, if I go here, you will see the layout of the slider. These are the types, slider, scene, carousal. We will start with the slider. Sizing will be full width, full screen or auto. So let's keep it on full width. Now, these are the layer area size for the desktop, laptop, tablet and mobile devices. So we will go through these settings later. First, we will work on the slider background. So in order to change the background, you can go here. You will see the option background. Right now it is set to transparent. And if you click on drop down box, you will see image, external image, colored, YouTube video, Vimeo or HTML5 video. So if you want to add any external image, you can click on this one and enter the URL of the image. If you want to keep it transparent, you can simply select transparent. If you want single color, you can change it to colored. And from here, you can change the color, the background color. So this is how it will look. Next is YouTube video. So here you can add the YouTube video link. It will show the video in the background. Next option is a Vimeo video and HTML5 videos. These are the video options where you can enter the link of the video and it will show the video as a background. Now we will go to image option and I'm going to select one image from the media library. I have some images already uploaded, so I'm going to use one of them. Let's insert this one. Now this will be the background image of the first slide. If you scroll down, you will see the image settings, cover, contain, percentage or auto. So I'm going to keep it on cover. So it will cover the entire width of the slider. No repeat. So it is not going to repeat it. And this is the position. You can change the position also. And this is the alt text. If you want to add alt text, you can add the alt text here and you can also enter the title. So these are the image settings. This is the background image for the first slider. Now here, if you want to add animation for this image, you will see an option here, animation. Click on it and you will see different types of animations, base, column, rows, boxes, random and custom. So if I go to right now, it is set to base and you will see different options here. Just like this. These are the simple slides. If I go to double effect, So these are the sliding effects. Now, if I go to columns, you will see some column effects. All right, so these effects are looking good. These are the rows effect. boxes all right so i'm going to select this one let's select the rain effect so this is the animation for this particular background image if i go to filters you can add filters to this image right now it is set to no filter i can go here you will see some green filter So let's use this one. So I'm going to add this filter. And this is the progress bar. If you want to add default progress progress bar, you can add the progress bar. We will do it later. So we have got the background of this first slide. Now we are going to add some layers. If I go to add layer, you will see different options here. First, I'm going to add the headline. So I'm going to click on headline. And here you will see the headline is added. Now from here, you can select the headline style. Let's use this one. You will see many different options here. So I'm going to select this one, close it. 
and we will be back to content of this particular headline so here you can add the content for this headline let's consider that this is a website for dentist so we have got the headline here now let's go to size and position and i'm going to center align it if you want to center align vertically you will see this option here so this will be vertically center aligned you can make it top align or bottom align or you can simply drag and put it wherever you want i'm just going to center align it now here you will see minimum maximum height and width let's go to style here and you will see the color if you want to change the color you can change the color from here so this will be the color and this is the font family you can choose the font family from here size if you want to change the size manually you can change the size from here also this is the background color so if you want to add some background color to this text layer you can add the background color also if i select let's say white color you will see the white background here just like this and you can add some margin or the padding let's add 10 pixel padding and this is how it will look so if you want to use background color you can use the background color there is an option to use background image for this layer also if you want to add border you can also add border to this layer all right so this is the first contained layer let's add one more layer and let's use bigger one let's put it here close it let's center align it and let's add some content let's go to content we have selected this layer and we have clicked on content so that it is showing the content for this layer so this is the content that i want to add i can reduce the size just like this and here you will see the option go to content again center align the text so from here you can center align the text go to style and if you want to change the size manually you can change the size or you can drag and drop this one this will also change the size here you will see the arrow you can simply drag and drop let's change the color use this one i'm not going to add any background here let's add a button and from here you can select the style of the button so i'm going to select this one close it drag and drop here let's go to content and change the content let's make it a read more center align it now this is a button so when someone clicks on it it should open another page or it should go to next slide or something like that so if you want to link this button you can go to actions so click on this button select the button and go to actions and you will see different actions menu link and scroll so if you want to scroll on the same page you can use that one simple link will go to other pages callback you can add the callback here let's delete this one and you will see the other options here jump to slide next slide previous slide pause slider something like that open slider model next frame start media stop media toggles full screen so i'm going to use simple link so this is set as simple link and here i'm going to add the link let's say i want to open google.com so when someone clicks on it it will open google.com all right so this is about the button if you want to add other layers you can add layers all right so this is about the first slide let's click on save and preview So this is how it will look now we need to add some animation to these layers let's close on it uh, let's go, select the first layer and go to animation you will see in and out animations this will be the in animation so here you will see different options i'm going to use this one for the out you can use rotation so you need to play with the 
animations whichever animation is suitable you can use the animation let's go to the second layer and add some animation here in and out animation select the button and animation in out all right save it preview so we have added animation but all the layers are coming together so we are going to add some delay here now if, if i scroll if you want to add delay you will see these options here this is the background slider bg animation this is the bg background animation then we have button text 0 and text 1 so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to just move it forward so first text 0 will come then text 1 then text 2 so there will be slight delay in each layer now if you want you can simply select this one and here you will see the delay you can add the delay manually so right now it is 350 milliseconds if you want to change it let's make it 400 and you will see this slightly moving here all right let's save it preview now you will see some slightly delay in animation now let's reduce the height for the desktop go to settings and here it is set to 900 i'm going to change it to 700 so this is how it will look you can also change the position let's preview all right so this one looks good we have changed the height now here you can go to mobile and for the mobile it looks good but if you want to change the height for the mobile you can change the height for the mobile this is for the tablet this is how it will look on the tablet and this is how it will look on the laptop all right so we have got three layers here now i want to add another slide so you can add a slide manually blank slide or you can simply duplicate this one and you can customize this one so i'm going to duplicate this slide and you will see two slides are there now let's go to background and change the background let's use this one and you can change the content here you can change the text button everything you can change from here i'm going to change the animation let's go to background and we are going to change the background animation so now let's use columns and use double motion this is how it will look so let's set this one so this is the second slider and let's add one more go to background and change the background image and also change the animation Let's use this one Let's save it now we need to add some navigation so let's go to navigation options here at the top you will see progress bar so we need to enable this one and it will show the progress bar at the top you can change the position horizontal progress bar current slide progress so it will show the progress of the current slide this is the background progress bar color now let's add arrows enable it you will see the arrows added here you can change the arrows this is heads and airs so from here you can select the type of arrows you want to show on the slider so this one looks good it will also show the next slide you can change the color 
and size of the arrows. I'm going to keep it as it is. Next is bullets. You can turn it on and you will see the bullets at the bottom. So these are the bullets. You can change the type of bullets you want to show. This one also looks good. And you can change color and size settings for the bullets. Tabs, if you want to add tabs, you can add tabs. You will see the tabs here. For that, you need to add the title and the alt for each slide. So I'm going to turn it off. Thumbnails, it will show the thumbnails. Turn it on, you will see the thumbnails here. Let's save these options. And let's go to preview. You will see the progress bar at the bottom here. It is running. And this is the second slide. You will see the arrows here. And these are the bullets. You can change the position of the progress bar from bottom to top. And you will see different animations are there for each slide. So this is how you can add more slides and more layers on each slide. You can customize it. You can add different types of animations, delays for each slide. Let's see how we can use it. Let me save this slide. Go to settings and you have, let's go to title. And we have the short code here. So I'm going to copy the short code. Let's go to home page of this website. And I want to use this on the home page. Here I'm using Elementor page builder. So I'm going to use the Elementor page builder short code to add the slider on the website. If you are using Gutenberg, you just need to add the short code on the web page. If you are using any other page builder, you just need to add the short code on the page and it will show the slider on the page. Right. So here at the top, I want to add the slider. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to add new section here. Plus sign this one. Make it full width so it will take the entire width of the screen. Click on the plus sign, search for short code, drag it and drop it here. Or you can use the slider revolution block here on the Elementor. It has a block or the element that we can use. So let's drag it and drop it here. And this is the slider. Click on the plus sign. It will use that slider here. So it has added the slider automatically. So you don't even need to Let's click on update and let's view the page. And you will see the slider is added on the page. So this is how you can create the slider using the slider revolution plugin on a WordPress website. In the upcoming videos, we will see how we can use the pre-designed templates to create slider and how we can use the add-ons in slider revolution. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.